Here's a look at our future track computer models starting at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, 42, 45 degrees will likely warm on up uh, to around 49.50. This isn't even going that warm. It's only going 47. So it's cool, but not much wind for the region. An increase in cloud cover during the overnight hours and advances some rain moving on in. Now the rain moves in mainly into North Carolina. There'll be a stray shower or two uh, into southeastern Virginia, but not that awfully much. And again, not that awfully much uh, wind either. Temperatures not as cold, dropping on down into the upper 30s. There's where things are by 7 o'clock in the morning. Now, the rain that moves through is part of a low pressure area, which intensifies once it gets out to sea. So look at the wind at 7 o'clock in the morning. Not much wind at all. Look at the wind as we work our way into the day, gusting to around 30 miles an hour as that storm intensifies out to sea. We'll likely see highs into the upper 40s for the day on Thursday, uh, but they're really, really cooling off for Friday. Friday's highs only around 43, 44 degrees. And by Saturday, we got more cloud cover, so rain every three days, basically. That rainfall not here yet on Saturday morning, but it gets here uh, during the afternoon. It'll rain for much of the day on Saturday. Sunday, that rain is gone. We'll see it continue into Saturday night, but Sunday, uh, that rain is gone. Another slug of some rainfall uh, coming up by uh, by Tuesday, and that could be more significant with some heavy rainfall into the area. Again, a little rain overnight, a little cooler tomorrow, a lot cooler on Friday. Saturday, rain. Sunday, quiet. Another slug of rain Tuesday.